you kill him. What would a finger puppet boy do? Uh, finger puppet uh, with Al and Tigger. God, don't say things like that. <sighs> Has everyone had a good weekend? Woo! Oh, come on. Tell me you had a better weekend. Has everyone had food to eat? No. No. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. Well, we fed you last night and this morning. Tillman, did we feed everybody? How many hamburgers we go through? 400 hamburgers. Somebody fucking ate. I'm sorry. I ate a steak, but you guys ate hamburgers, so. <laughs> Get him a fucking microphone and put him up here. Jeez, I got jokes. I think he's taking my job. You got like one of those crapper readers where you pick it up and you're reading Ooh, jokes. Ooh, that'd be good for an instant. There you go. Turkey. Nah. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. They were all uniformly sized. Something about brimstone being anally retentive. You're making them just the right like size. <laughs> you're standing there pouring them and they're just right. And I'm going, just fucking give me some pancakes. Did somebody say anal? <laughs> yeah, did someone say anal? Mm. I'm, I'm just glad that this year his boyfriend doesn't get up on stage half naked. So, yes, the pancakes were awesome. Thank you very much. Um, God, stop it, everyone. Stop it. So you've had some fun. Anyone here any good talks? Yeah. Yeah. Right? If you want to go to Outer Zone in uh, March, you can hear the same thing that God said here. <laughs> You're going to call me up and go, man, I need to do a talk. What should it be on? I don't know. Ten things you don't know about your hard drive. Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing for Schmoo, the one you did here? <laughs> Shopping it around. So we've had a good time. We've learned something, hopefully. We've eaten. Has anyone had anything to drink yet? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> And you wonder why we have a reputation for <laughs> You have to do that at every con now. You know that, don't you? It's like I would have been in the crowd fucking people from behind. Yeah. He's having flashbacks yeah. to chasing children around playgrounds. <laughs> So if, yeah. so if we got a Rick roll, what is that referred to now? We got to come the Biddy Hill routine or what? The Telco roll. There we go. <laughs> right. Was I your first? Yes, you have the honor of being the first. Atlanta, All right. Atlanta police were the first. Yes, yes. <laughs> tell tell that one really quick. Shall we? Should we come up there? No. Stand up and talk. Damn it. Talk about free speech in 30 seconds or less. The zombie, the zombie walk was a few weeks ago. We were out in the streets of Atlanta, the bad part of Atlanta, practicing our zombie walk with the group of teens. Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. The police came up and said, we've had a report of some robots. And he said, no, they're just, just zombies. And he did and, uh, the radio. <laughs> it actually said, oh, no robots here, we got zombies. <laughs> some things happen, the cop ends up getting flicked off, and we run. Hey! <laughs> There you go. That's it, absolutely. How do you run in those packs? I think you improvise, actually. You do. <laughs> Baton and pistol, I think I can run in one of those. I think I can do backflips if you're going to beat the shit out of me with a baton. So, everyone's had some alcohol now that all the fun's taking place. So, oh. What? Yeah, he's got the owl picture. Welcome to five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> hey, usually the delay I get is about seven to eight seconds, but yours is kicking at about five minutes now. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, never mind. So we've had some alcohol, right? First of all, I do not want any hand grenade mix left 
whatsoever. It's not going to the consortium. It's not going to my place. So we have to empty that damn thing, <laughs> please. Andrew, you'll take. You're taking all of the mixed pancake batter with you. You got to take that back. Mix them together. <laughs> and you wonder why we have a reputation, you know? We got to hire some IT people. Fuck. <sighs> so, without further something or another. We had some uh, contests. Did anybody enter the contest? Or were we just drunk all morning long? Uh, Lazy. Uh, why don't we do them anymore? <sighs> Some of you will grab the memory box. Anybody, uh, how many people actually entered the uh, memory box contest? Woo! 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 How many people had alcohol? Woo! Now I know where your loyalties lie. <laughs> so, um, where did we end up with a memory from? She's gone? Okay, everybody, we got something we got to do. In the same way that we did the telco roll, this is the thing. You're going to have one. I'm going to have one. All right, uh, I'm Jim Shue, in case you saw my picture in the elevator. Um, anyways, <laughs> Sarah Neal just left. Um, we've been tricking her all weekend. Mog has been saying that he wants a birthday cake or Father's Day cake, so we got a bunch of fucking cake up here. When Sarah comes back in, I want everyone to say thank you for the Father's Day cake. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then, I don't know, how are we going to, are going to come up and get cake, or what do you want to do? You're telling me you didn't fucking think that part out. Oh, no. I'll I give you the setup, I, I spent, the location. I spent like 60 bucks on cake, fuck you. I don't know. <laughs> you spent $60 on cake for a bad joke. All right. Hey, Mudflap, where you at? Oh, he's up front. Elvis, I'm sorry. Put your shirts down. Can we get, like, knives, forks? Hey, why don't we get them over here and we'll just cut it real quick. I mean, I got, like, two minutes. Go. Cut the fucking cake. Come on, everybody. Form a line. Start distributing. No, I'm just going to stand back here and lick icing off this. Come give me a hug. Hey, come on, guys. Grab some cake. It goes well with a hurricane mix, I swear. If you're going back to the back, take, take some with. Out. <laughs> replacement out. Replacement out. Mud flap is my go-to guy, man. Give me a fucking, give me a piece of plastic. I don't care. Give me a shoe. I'll cut the cake. We got to go. Uh, start giving up. Stairwell four. Here you go. You start divvying, I'm start giving up fork. Take a fork. Fork you, buddy. Cold sweating. Divvy, divvy, divvy. Fork. It smells awful. I'm used to fork. Hug me, too. Hug. Fork. 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 Yeah, fork you. Two more. Fork. Fork. I didn't, I didn't lick that one, I swear. Here, take a fork. Pork. Yep. You have to hug. You have to hug out first. You don't need a spoon. It's cake. Come on. Thank you. Pork. Take a pork. Right. Left foot. Right foot. Let's go. Production. You look like a monkey fucking a football. Come on. I don't want to hug another. I would not ask permission. Yeah. <laughs> you already got me. Make it double. Uh -oh. Hug out for cake. Come here, buddy. Remember. It's open. <laughs> Sit up here in the front with me. Okay. Coming back. I can't wear a mustache. Make Sorry, I threw you into that. That's all right. <laughs> I can't eat and have a mustache. Hey, Cam. Do it. We can only keep her outside so long with the bullshit story. Let's go. Mark Schnell, Vita Vita. <laughs> let, me, let me lick that off. Where's the mustache go? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Ah, the mustache. We like we're married. Are you coming back for more? <laughs> The gap is you still have to have cake when she shows up.
Here, here. Fetch. Okay, go. I can't talk. I'm in front of a crowd of people. It was 30, 30 seconds. You want to take it? Call Andrew. All right, bye. Trick! In your eyebrows. What's up, brother? Where did Sarah go? They're outside. They distract me. Dude, you got a little white shit between. Never mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got a little bit. Never mind. Those are my little swimmers. So, okay. She's going to come walking through the door in just a minute. Everybody enjoy your cake. Tell her thank you very much. Nothing oh, like some cake, gonna... hand grenade mix, or alcohol. What? I'm wondering what it takes to get orange icing off the back of my fucking laptop now. My laptop. Just grab my bag and walk outside. Don't you have a real job, comedian? <laughs> Just sell weed, eh? I think I am. Mm -mm -mm. If his laptop's his dick. Thanks for the cake. Thank you. Right. You are. I am. I'm the cake person. No. It's a, hey, hey. No, really, it's mud flap. No, actually, it's Wizard PC. We fucked with you all day long. No, actually. It's Al. It's Al. It's Al. It's Al. But we love you. Come get a piece of cake. Actually, take all this off the table if you don't mind. Do the dishes. Can, can you lick the icing off the back of my laptop? And I mean nothing by this. It was much flat. No, no, actually, it was Scott. Scott, that's Scott. No, Scott. I'm Spartacus. Here, I'm going to give you something and put it in your mouth. Get it back. This is a well orchestrated plan just to mess with you. Here, have another fork or two. No, it was Scott. It was Sky. There you go. I want a chocolate. It was Seawine. Fuck that guy. Picky fucking picky. Here. Here. It's Mandy. Hey. Oh. You have, oh, here we you go. Have to hug me oh, too. yeah. That's scary. I don't want to get frosting on your face. Uh, here, do you want a fork? You're just going to eat it with your hands. I got napkin. Now you're worried about cleanliness. That's great. Oh, yeah. All righty then. Back to what we were doing before we started that bullshit. So, anyway. It's a major detour. You're gonna do the, uh, do the do the memory prize, eh? Talk, bitch. So, uh, no, Mike. You got time. Yeah. Mike. yeah. I don't care. Someone gives the boy a mic. Yep. Okay. I'm on the AB team too. Do you have a pocket for that? <laughs> Just put it on your mind. Oh, it's got a gun in it. Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing about that. Yes. Ah. So uh, the the you are fucking bored. <laughs> really? Hey, we uh, have to hire some IT people. Fuck. So for the memory prize, we had you guessing uh, how much uh, memory was in this box. How many and gig or how many gigs? How many gigs? Ten. And uh, Close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bi uh, Billy. In we need to hire some IT people. Infinite Fuck wisdom said that there was 300 gigs of memory in this box, which comes out to about 2,500 sticks of, of RAM. So the, the box actually bends space and time together. So the person, <laughs> the person who guessed closest to it was Squeak. It, 
It was not wild no, card. No, you didn't win, Johnny. It was 33.25 gigs. Um, we, do what? Shut up. Shut up. We need to hire some IT people. Fuck, they're a pain in the ass. God, they're... Mm. So what's the prize, dude? Well, see, the thing is... I did. <laughs> we, have the hacker, we have the hacker consortium, and the whole deal behind it is, uh, you know, we, we got some Plex, and we were playing around, we made the box, and everybody said, damn, that's a really cool box. And, yeah, it is a you know, really, really nice box, and we could use it every year for a contest, so I'm not giving you the box. You can have all the memory you want, though. <laughs> what, we got to find something to put it in. What do we got to put it in? We'd send, you, we'd, uh, we'd send you with some cake. I think we got something. It's a pizza box. Oh fuck! I'm. Hmm. Here. Oh, Coming to a swap these. meet near you. Hold on. Oh, she can have the lights. Well, there. Did you build another one? <laughs> oh, forgot some. Possibly. Really? really? It's the piece really of the Azure Crag. I was married before. I know how that game gets played. But you have to take this too. We help the young lady through the. Uh... Al? Am I going to memory? Smart ass? Hey. Al, carry it out. Okay, I'll be a gentleman. Could be in such an art fag, man. Come on. There you go. Make sure it stays in the fabric. Fuck five minute yeah. lag? Talk to him. Good Give lord. Th Thirty three point two five gigs. I almost killed you. Oh, I know. That's your freaking memory. Guess the reason. Yes. Okay. All right. So anyway. You're the eye candy, man. All right. Who played in the scavenger hunt? Woo! Woo! All right. Someone kept asking me my shoe size and what my badge said and there's some compromising photographs, apparently. But uh, I found out later that actually wasn't on the scavenger hunt. Um. <laughs> Lady Merlin? Lady Merlin sponsored the uh, scavenger hunt. She's been so for, what, this is the third year? Second year? Second, Second year. Peace. Two. Dose. You can use your words. It's okay. Come here. You have to talk. Oh, you suck. So anyway, we have a scavenger hunt. You want to tell me who won? Fuck yeah! Yeah, we need to hire some IT people. Fuck their pain to deal with. So team, fuck yeah, where team you at? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck team? yeah! America! Where is team? Fuck yeah! Nerd, nerd! nerd. <laughs> was it that hard to get you to stand up? Good lord! I didn't know what fucking team I was on. Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> We're well organized. What's the name of the team? I got a clue. We want some more cake while you're up here? Okay. Your cake's really good. Your cake is awesome. I love that you brought us all the cake. Everyone again, thank you for the cake. Fuck yeah! Hey, we need that. Fuck yeah! You know how odd. How odd. Fuck. Hold on, look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so anyway, you guys, uh, well, yeah, this is going to be the fun part. So anyway, um, it's what? Boy, you're a fucking picky pain in the ass. No, it is not the fiber optic one. So uh, anyway, it's a uh, Cisco Catalyst 2950. They each win one, you get four. So now you have enough to populate every little VLAN to your heart's content at your hackerspace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Lady Merlin. She's the one who got all the prizes, who organized everything, who thought up all the weird and bizarre bits and pieces. And if you don't mind, someone can erase those pictures. I'd really appreciate it. It took me a little while to get the pic. The, uh... You got a Facebook account, right? Tag them. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, I don't. I thought so. No. It took me long enough to get the pictures of me and Rattlefist fighting off. So, you know, what can you say? 
this fighting? Not the same way that the artifact goes. Shut up. Taking the microphone away. So who entered the Wi-Fi race? Yeah. The winning team. team. Look, guys, I got up at 7.15 this morning to prep for it. God, would you quit drinking so much on Friday night? <laughs> Went to bed at 2, woke up at 7.15 thinking, do I really have to do that? Okay, I'll do it. So, well, no. See, the bad part about it is the one year that the, the uh, Potter kids take off, nobody fucking enters. So they'll be back next year and you all are going to lose. What can you say? Let's see. If you guys don't know, we do the Wi-Fi race every year for the last two, three, I don't know how many years. Forever. Bruce Potter, Heidi Potter from ShmooCon, and their two kids, Bobby and Taryn, for some reason scoop every IT professional in the room that does the Wi-Fi race. I get this phone call every year and it's, okay, I've got the code. Hi, Heidi, how you doing? Fuck. <laughs> So, um, let's see. Here we have Bobby and Taryn. They're so sweet. They beat the shit out of you guys every year. <laughs> God, please. Oh, yes, yes. It's a, hey, do you want to go on a date? No, nah, but I want to do the Wi-Fi race. Can you drive me around, Dad? So, um, anyway, the... Uh, we took the Wi-Fi rig, let's see. I could have had a really nice PowerPoint presentation, but PowerPoint sucks. Um, this is the Wi-Fi rig, actually from the second or third year. It was a four foot long plank of wood, a Dell CPI, uh, the Linksys WRT54G and an inverter. It sat on everyone's back seat. I used it for a couple of years and I thought, man, I have to ask whoever the fox is, would you clean out your back seat so I can put this plank of wood? So this year, I went to the hackerspace and I built a new one. This fits in the front seat and uh, does not require actually a uh, child safety guard. Again, got the inverter and all the fun stuff inside there. So, anyone who doesn't know, why, thank you. Oh, the box. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just hear it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not going anywhere else with that one. So, um,. Room full of fucking comedians, and you're all in IT. Great. So anyway, do what? You're a Pisces, right? First to yell out in any crowd, right, John? Gotcha, gotcha. So anyway, we uh, we set the fox loose inside uh, the ring of uh, interstates around Nashville. And we set a couple of teams loose. The object of the game is to track down the. Uh, the fox in this, the person's vehicle, and all you're looking at is a Wi-Fi signal. I thought, boy, that'll be fun enough. Well, the first year, Decode, who dove through the window of uh, French's car to get the uh, token, they found him in an hour and eight minutes. And the problem was, French comes up and says, hey, Sky, yeah, I'm all set. I got my energy bars. I got my Gatorade. I'm all hooked up. Two bottles of Gatorade in. An hour and eight minutes later, he's going to piss like it's going out of style. <laughs> so. Decode has the record for the fastest uh, uh, actual catch of the fox at one hour, eight minutes. Um, yeah. <laughs> you heard the vasectomy story too? So anyway, um, we had a, a uh, second shortest time today and two different methodologies. So uh, we have uh, Team OmniScan. You guys here? Did you bring your toy with you? You suck. Now raise both hands. Where's your alcohol? Because you had to have brought it. It's in the floor. It's in the floor. I asked you to bring it. Now you brought the alcohol. I don't know what your problem is. So anyway, um, Team OmniScan got on the roof of the building with a 24 dB antenna. Did you have an alpha? So you were exceeding FCC guidelines, from what I understand. <laughs> and I happen to verify, really know. It's 2.5 miles. It's pretty much the range on that. So, uh, so they got on the roof of the building and shot with the dish, and they were actually able to acquire. You said you got to Nmap. Uh, <laughs> oh, why are you laughing? Okay.
Did you have a beer with you at the time? Did your mother ever tell you to be prepared? No Boy Scout training for you, eh? I want to enter the race. By the way, what software do I need? It's time to go. Uh -oh. So that's the first time we've actually had someone on the roof try it. They didn't succeed. The fastest in salt. But how long? Five minutes. Ziploc. What's the record? Five minutes is it? We'd get you a job, but you know you need to know how to use it first. Oh, oh, all you did was boot. You installed it to the drive? Sorry. <laughs> take his alcohol away, please. Take his badge. Yeah, I almost take his badge. <laughs> so, uh, where's Team AP at? Guys, come on. Woo! Come on. <laughs> so I come. Do what? <laughs> and they know how to use it. It only took me five minutes to figure out how to scan after we caught it the fox. Yeah. So. We were just so excited. Yeah, I was like, oh, what is this? So, uh, no. No. The, uh, I think the way that you end up winning the capture of the, uh, uh, to capture the fox is to not be in a convoy of 12 cars with everybody in the car trying to end map the same network at the same time. <laughs> and apparently, uh, Dash lowercase p80 uh, is something that no one's figured out when you're looking for a web server. So, um, this year there were, uh, I went through and um, I threw a couple of little fun things into it. Who knows what the uh, three private networks are? There's one. Okay. 172 is the one that not everyone sees, right? Everyone goes, oh, I got a link sys. Oh, I've got this. And you get those first two networks. So I thought, okay, I've got to play with everybody. So let's see who actually paid attention to their networking class. So it was 172, 26, 42, 26, 42, 190. So I dropped this uh, web server on it. And just to be fun, I thought, you know what? You guys are going to be in a convoy, theoretically. Let's see if you can pull down a 1.2 meg image while you're chasing a car. <laughs> this this is the cell phone, the boost phone I'm carrying, just for that purpose. And then we have the code you had to read off. So the phone rings, and I'm, hello? And it's like, yeah, I think we got the code. And I reach in my back pocket and realize, I don't remember what the fucking code was. <laughs> really? Well, hang on a second. I go downstairs. I'm in the elevator. So well, what's in the, in the picture you're looking at? Well, it's a dog bone. Well, what else is in there? <laughs> I'm stalling for time while I'm trying to get the room. It's you sitting in a chair. Okay, yeah, you guys got it. So an hour, I think it was an hour and 38 minutes total from start to race to the time you caught them. So, go. So, another Sky Dog original. It's the Mr. Potato Head complete with antenna. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I actually have one from last year, and I made one for myself to go in my office. My boss walks in and goes, is that a Mr. Potato Head? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. What's he got in his hand? A cantina? Turns around and walks out of my office. <laughs> Fucking IT people. Jeez. So. You have to go to the back of the room, okay? <laughs> so we also did room parties this year. Who did a room party? We actually had three room parties. You got this one? I've got this one. You got this? Is your microphone on? Did you take it off? I took it off. Okay, you're VP. Let me explain something to you. You have to have the microphone on. You have to stand up here and act like an asshole. Uh, you got the asshole part. Get the microphone on. He does have the asshole part. He's got the asshole part, big time. I like that. So we did room parties this year. Yep. <laughs> what are you talking about? We don't know what you're speaking about. So, uh, 
the winner, fucking IT people. The winner of this year's uh, room party is uh, the one who had uh, Int 80 freestyling in it. So, uh, CP, you want to come up here? Here's your prize. Special water. Some Mad Dog. Congrats, man. Drinking it tonight, room 811. Can I get some volume? Or is it on my end? I don't know. I'm an IT guy. I fucking don't know what I'm doing. Reformat. Hey! Hey, B guy! Can I can I get some audio? I mean, the clip is only 44 seconds long. Huh? Would you train this guy? Hey, Drew. Drew. Now you really just go. Can I ask you a question, Drew? Is your butt hole in? Did your butt hole it? Because you're not smart enough to wipe your own ass. <laughs> he taught you how to use it. Come on. That's user training, man. What the hell? That's what we're good at. It sounds like we built it. Hey, Jay Weezy. Who knows who Jay Weezy is? Where's the chair? So, uh. Jay is the, the reason we have the wear chair this year. Who doesn't know why we've got it? You don't know? Shut up if you know why we got it. What's a wear chair? What's a wear chair? So I'll tell the story. I'll make it shorter than normal. Two years ago, I'm on the roof, and someone had called me and said, Hey, Sky Dog, someone threw a chair off the roof. I was like, well, at least Al's not fucking somebody. So I walk over to the railing, and I'm, leaning over, looking, and sure enough, two feet away from the satellite dish is this nice wooden chair that's completely destroyed. And I'm looking at it thinking, oh man, I'm going to get shot trying to get this fucking thing down. So I'm okay. Got to get down there. Got to get the chair. I'm sure the hotel's going to be pissed. Someone wanders up beside me, looking over, and I go, hey, what's up where? He said, nah. Sorry, man. Sorry, Sky. I'm like, no, man, it's all right. We'll, we'll, I'll agree with the chair. It's no big deal. He says, I know. Sorry, man. I'm like, it's okay, Wheezy. I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry. I mean, it's just a chair. And I realize you're not commiserating. You're fucking apologizing. <laughs> so apparently, in his drunken state, Katana came up and said, hey, man, I dare you to throw a chair off the roof of the building. <laughs> so, uh... So Wheezy gets adventurous, apparently, and throws a chair off the roof of the building. And I say, okay, Wheezy, you need to go down and get all the parts, take them inside, talk to the hotel, get it all straightened out. And Jay says, man, I've been talking to this girl over here and I think she really likes you, man. <laughs> and I said, Jay, <laughs> the cock got bits over here? Okay, okay. And I said, okay, well, I understand what you're saying, but, you know. Wait, wait, she was actually looking at someone else. That's what it was. She was looking at another guy. I had my eyes on you, though. Hey, so we don't okay. want anything identifiable. Shh. Yeah, it was. So anyway, built like a zebra or wearing the zebra shirt? Wearing a zebra shirt. No, this one was built like a zebra. <laughs> Wasn't she, Jay? What? Oh, hell Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, Jay's never getting laid here again. Um, so anyway, I say, look, Jay, I understand you're, you're, you're trying to get a piece. You're going to knock some of that off. But I really, really need you to go down and get the chair off. You know, go inside, take care of it. And he said, I will in a little while because I was talking to this girl over here. Jay, Jay, Jay. So eventually I actually convinced Jay that he needs to go down and get the chair. So he does. I go to bed. I get up the next morning. My, back then, I parked my truck out underneath the awning. And I walk out, and there are pieces, parts of the chair all over the hood of my truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, Jay, I'll get you back for that one. So Jay, 
$75 for a chair. So, okay. He, he paid his money. He's like, man, this is going to be expensive. So last year, someone gets froggy and throws another chair off the roof of the building. This one is $150. So I would say by standard calculation, the next chair that goes off is going to cost a million dollars. But the bad part is, someone's going off the roof with it. So what we decided to start last year was uh, the wear chair toss. So in honor of Jay Ware, we have the black wear chairs. So goofy bitch, take a chair. So this year, there we go. Come on, Jay. Stand up, Jay. Stand up. <laughs> Jay would stand up, but he would probably shit himself in the process. <laughs> nice catch. Uh, we Balls. were going to do it again this year, but the rain got a hold of us. By the time we got the assholes in the parking lot to move their cars in the bar, thank you for your little guys. So, um, yeah, Jay, we wanted to celebrate in some way or another, and I know that in your your state you can't uh, you can't drink, but when you can. Got you some old English 800, baby. Got you a 40. Got your plaque on it. Come up here. You walk up here and get it. Come on. Hey, Flap. No, sit down, shit. Flap, take that back to us. Where? Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. We love Jay. And for the right price, you can, too. <laughs> so anyway, who did the caption contest? I did. Caption contest? Like, do you know why there's an alien on the back of the shirt with a blank deal? You're su supposed to write your own. You guys were drunk all fucking weekend, weren't you? <laughs> it's not just you guys that won't listen to me. Fucking nobody listens to me. Well, that's true. You drive too slow. So, do what? <laughs> Fucking IT people. God, they're so difficult. The idea behind the t-shirt was you could make your own saying on the little white flag. You guys don't fucking pay attention at all. God bless. Okay, well, fuck that contest. Um, Mail. We, uh... I think we did, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was fucked up a little bit, but I remember that part. Do what? It's all that crowd. It's all that crowd, yes. I'll be feeling a lot of that later on. So, um, right there. We, um, we had a good time. It's a lot of work getting all this stuff together. It's a lot of work for our staff for the weekend to make all these things happen. But we do it because we really enjoy it. Thank you. I, Thanks, Scott. Where's Iron Geek at? Where's Iron Geek at? Is Iron Geek here? You're serious? He was earlier. You going to go get him? I think it's because I hugged him twice. <laughs> to put on Blip TV. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So we we'll get them online eventually. All right, we'll get back super to that. Super deep duper dick. So, um, let's see if I got to get the list here. <laughs> oh shit! Oh yes! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let me let me kiss her. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry, buddy. He, he, I'm, sorry, he, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. He, he never saw it coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's good. And yeah, don't put the camera on this. <laughs> That's a man level. Line has on. a real job, man. We don't want that at all. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> I would call him up. Somebody Al, what's up, man? Again. Look, That's, your ass has been replaced. Hear me with something better. He's got yeah, talent, too. <laughs> Go. No back of the room now. <laughs> back, back, back. Security, take him to the back of the room. Out, out, damn spot. Anyone use the network this weekend? 
Okay, damn IT people. Fuck, they would have paying in. Yeah, yeah. Where's Steve Line at? Yeah, step out around here and wave, everybody. Everyone, this is Steve Line, our director of networking. Give him a round of applause. It's a very tough job. I'm trying to walk. Yeah. Uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I got a question for you guys. C blind knows the answer. How many DHCP servers can you have on a network? 150. 150. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. So. Um, Depends on how they're configured. Yes. Well, apparently when you just drop a rogue access point on there and you have DHCP open, which apparently some script kiddies decide they need to do on a regular basis, it kind of screws with the network. But he takes a lot of shit. We really appreciate all the hard work you put in. He went in and replaced a lot of the switches. Came in at his own time. Came to bag. So, uh, here you go. Get your ass back up here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Let me put it on so you. So all of our directors and all of our speakers, uh. mm, we have the, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my insurance covers anything you're doing, Carl. So. so all of our directors and speakers, we want to find something nice to give them. So as I bring them up here, we're going to give them a round of applause. Okay. Iron Geek. Thanks for not being in the room, asshole. I have some for you. Come up here. So uh, we finally got it set up where I can actually see what the stats are on the web server. Now, it's actually been, you know, seven or eight years. So I start perusing the web stats to see, you know, where all the referrals and all the traffic's coming from. We're serving up about four gigs of of uh, data a day. Do what? Porn? CP? No, no, no. It's your room. <laughs> yeah, porn. Shut up. Yeah, no. So, um, you, back of the room. Come on, yeah. So, I'm, I'm poking through the web stats the other day just because I had nothing else to do, I guess. And you are the top refer from your website. You are acing out Google for the number of people coming to our website. So, <laughs> because you rock. You get the Mr. Potato Head Kiss Edition, Gene Simmons. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And Strick and his friends would like to talk to you about that. Yes. Beating them out. Uh, you know what? You really don't want to piss Google off because they're going to own you. They'll be at your house. There'll be some letters on the front of it. The mailbox will be down. That's it. Something's going to go wrong for you. Who wants a five-hour energy drink? Woo! You don't get anything. Anyone gives him, stand up, my splatter. If anyone gives him alcohol this evening, I will personally stop someone's ass. Who wants a five hour energy? It's good to be the king. I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone has seen this, but Strick is wearing an actual Freak Nick shirt. All right. <laughs> yes. Ow, fuck. What the? <laughs> Say you're sorry. Uh, yeah, that kind of. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay. Okay. Another new C blind is looking for a new job. If anyone's hiring. <laughs> C blind will never do networking here again. <laughs> we'll do TCP over hooker. Yeah. Hey Knight, come here for a minute, man. Come here, come here, come here. Everyone, can I get a round of applause for Knight Carnage, the director of AV? Took a lot of shit from me, but I really appreciate it. I'd like you to have a bag. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Now get the fuck over there and sit down. <laughs> Always prepared, Mr. IT. Yeah. So um, he's going to. Fuck you. The array goes down because someone can't write the damn device driver correctly. Hmm. Hey, Ty. Beast, come up here for a minute. If you don't mind, please. 
I'm just, hey, you're on your own, so the fuck over there. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, hey, protect me from him. So. I'm off duty. <laughs> you're off duty. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'll stand in between them or some equidistant. So we have Beast, we have TIE Fighter. They're the co-directors of security this year. I'm sorry, the hospitality staff uh, or the courtesy staff. They're my enforcers. What can you say? Did we have any trouble this weekend? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Captain Asshole over here that's, that we don't let that, yeah. Yeah, no alcohol for you. The worst kind of racism? No, I'm just prejudiced against you. Yes, sir. That's, uh, that's not what we consider trouble. Right? That's not trouble? <laughs> Beach, thank you very much, sir. Round of applause, everybody. They worked all weekend. Spent a lot of time, drank a lot of alcohol, apparently, too. Hey, uh, Ty, no more crown, baby. No more crown. Mm -mm. Appreciate it. Um, hey, Mud Flap. Yep. Come here for a minute. I'm sorry, Elvis. Elvis is in the building. This is Mud Flap, the director of volunteers. Can I get The fun part about this is I work for a major university, and this asshole comes walking in my office past my director and my boss wearing this getup. <laughs> yes, they have walked past my office. They've walked past my office to see both of us sitting there having a conversation with red clown noses on, so I'm not getting a raise ever. Are they trying to say you're security? So. You got to be the director of volunteers. You got to wrangle everybody this year. Thank you very much for all the time you put in, all the emails. Thank you very much. Sir. Sylvan. Yeah, you got to get up now. Can I have another bag, please, sir? Here you go. Who likes hamburgers and hot dogs? I like hot dogs! Because this man has had his hands all over your meat. Woo! No, we haven't. Oh, God. Please, no. No. I found enough of those pictures when I searched for Freak Nick online, and they keep popping. It's Tillman and this guy. Tillman and this guy. I'm thinking, I don't ever want one of those to show up anywhere. Again. So, Tillman went out and picked up uh, all of the food that we consumed this weekend. Did everyone get all the snacks and everything they can handle? Yeah, yeah. Yes or no? We got drinks, hot dogs, chips, everything that went on last night. He was the person who arranged all that. I just showed up and played around on the grill for a while. I had nothing to do with the planning. Anything that fucked up, I had nothing to do with. So you're on your own with that. Have a bag. Thank you very much, sir, for all the time and all the effort. Appreciate it. There we go. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> killing me, killing me, killing me. Where's Lady Merlin at? On the floor. No, she's down here. Come on, you have to get up and walk up here. I might actually make you say something in front of the crowd, like thanks. So this is Lady Merlin, the director of registration. She made sure that everything went well at the front desk. She doesn't like the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> so she made sure that all the uh, registration went well, dealt with me when I uh, argued with her about things. She was very sweet about everything, and uh, she did it my way anyway. But thank you very much, sweetheart. <laughs> By the way, t shirts be on sale in the morning. Hey, yeah. How many do we have? Uh, how many t-shirts do you think we got left? She's in charge of the books. All right. I don't know. No more alcohol for you either. Um, I think the last the last count we had 235 attendees somewhere in that range. All right. I don't know, man. Where's Tuttle at? Yeah, we need that Scott Ogg's little bitch. Yes, Scott Ogg's little bitch, where you at? Hey, Tuttle! Come here, man. 
Come here. You know, I've seen a couple of pictures of whatever the hell that is on your head. <laughs> Oh my God, don't give total any more alcohol. Oh, just come out and hold your hand down. Yeah, thanks a lot. So, uh, there you go, man. There you go. Thanks for the help. Oh, you suck. So, uh, so total more than one occasion. Total, if you fold that thing in half just right, you know, my own chicken. I love that outfit. I swear to God, that's awesome. So, Tuttle sat across from me at the consortium for many, many, many hours while we played and, and put everything together for uh, the website. Uh, <laughs> what? What, what am I missing? I'm missing something. You and I are out of the loop on something. What am I missing? Anyway. <laughs> hey, Tuttle, 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 come here for a minute. Come here for a minute. If you will break your foot off in his ass, you can have your own parking space at the consortium. Okay, I'll co sign a car for you. Has it stomp his ass? No. Tuttle, Tuttle sat across from me at the consortium. Last year, he ran uh, hour for hour with me while I, I uh, stayed awake most of the con. I started to uh, abuse him again this year by making him do a lot of layout and imposition and graphics and everything. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. He's always there to hang out, uh, probably just because he doesn't want to do anything else but hang out with the consortium. So anyway, another round of applause for Tuttle. He is he's the director of Sleepy Time, and you'll see why a little bit later. Oh, really? Where's not Larry at? He's not here? <laughs> no, the condoms, no, put those back. No, no, Al wanted the lube. No. So anyway, who got to meet not Larry? Who got to meet not Larry? That's why. He wasn't here. No, he was in charge of gaming. He had uh, uh, some very important business to do this weekend, so he was not able to attend as much as he wanted to to do the gaming. Uh, can I see Felix Simmons and Ryan Strecker? They already, why, why did you hand that to me? Okay, Felix Simmons. Well, they win these fabulous... Not Larry needs to be. Tell Not Larry he can come get the piece of paper for me. No. So Not Larry had to come get his bag for me too. Anyway, who went into the gaming area this year? Six guys, seven, eight. No. We uh, we branched out this year because last year the guy that was doing the coffee stood four feet away from the uh, rock band everyone was playing. <laughs> but that's why he's not back this year. Actually, I think we had to send him to therapy and uh, pay some insurance, but. <laughs> So we thought, you know, if we're going to do this, we're going to move, uh, move the gaming downstairs. So we actually put it at the end of the hall in the cafe after all the uh, food and everything was done in the morning so that we could uh, try to sec sever uh, separate the noise and everything that was going to go on there. Apparently, we separated all the people from that area also. <laughs> so, Warren! What? Yeah. Everybody, can you give a round of applause? Not Larry. I've seen you twice this weekend. Well, if you come to the game. Would you day. tell Scott not to? I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> no, actually, tell Matt Hall. Did you get the lyrics? Yeah. I watched you throw it away on the TV. It's right up. You were in another room watching the TV, but you didn't come in here? I was busy watching the equipment. Somebody's server, you said not to let this appear. That's uh, now no, unattended. So, so who's watching it's it? It's gone, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. These two young men found our missing server. They did. 
Really? Uh, why did you have to come in with jokes, too? The Hannah Montana Linux. The Hannah <laughs> 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 Hand him a microphone. Give him a rundown of what you did for Root Wars. Oh, great. A mic. Uh, <laughs> this year for Root Wars, we actually had a virtual machine. Can you hear me now? Uh, we ran uh, half a dozen Hannah Montana Linuxes with uh, LAMP installed, some bad CGI script I got from some system admins I know, and uh, it all worked perfect. Rooted it from work, rooted it from a couple other places, sitting in my son's bedroom, uh, taken off. It's a nice server with lots of fans. And uh, plugged it in here to its own little switch, and it wouldn't function. So in the process of trying to get it to talk to anybody, we uh, wiped out all the virtual machines. So we reinstalled it and set what we could back up. We tried to pull some of the packages off the network. But, uh, we didn't seem to have a, a drop, but we tried. You got jokes, don't you? <laughs> but they found it. They, uh, you, we heard when they found it. It pops up with Hannah Montana on your screen. <laughs> and they were busy trying to break in and weren't paying attention to the people coming by looking at their screen going, So, yeah, <laughs> that'll work every time. But uh, yep, they they got in. We had some good participation. They got tired, and I think they left. They were I don't know. This was on the TV, and they were getting annoyed. And it, it happens. Yeah. No one listens. To <laughs> These aren't the first two people you've driven from. The <laughs> you got <laughs> jokes. Here, don't have a bag. So anyway, no, thank you, sir. Well, Everyone. they're not here. Well, that's for you. Me. You're the director of gaming. Right. And nice. I want you to carry that to work with it. I'm I'd like back. to thank everybody that came. Wait, we didn't see any of you this weekend. Oh. <sighs> There's gaming down the hall. I don't have to work till noon. So come on down, beat my kids. We've got uh, Dagmar's Wii. Are we going to do the drunk and driving? Can we do the drunk and driving? If y'all get down there before I leave. Yeah. Who wants to play drunk and driving? Yeah. You don't get to play. You're, you're handicapped in that before you even get out of the chair. You don't have to drink anything. <laughs> we don't mean get out in the car and drive now like the Wi-Fi race. We mean on the... <laughs> He's Asian? <laughs> That's not racism when he says it, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm hung up on driving fucking straight. There you go. Those three words... There's something there. So, <laughs> I intend to finish the entire bottle, and I'm coming down to do a little drunken driving on the racing simulator. So, Warren, thank you for your time. Round of applause. Thank you very much. And last and certainly least, do me a favor, give me a bag out of that box. Everyone, does everyone know who this is? This is the shit I got to put up with. <laughs> this is some ninja master. He is the vice president of the National 2600 organization that puts on Freak Nick. Everyone, <laughs> round of applause. Some, what were your jobs during this time? It was something about like trying to keep you from going like crazy or something. Yeah, bug me incessantly every day about Don't four. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> No, that was the doctor that took care of that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, so, how's that, so how's that website coming, Matt? Fuck you and everybody that looks like you. No, that was that was every morning. I would uh, I'd log into IRC and I'm looking around. Bing, fuck. Click and click on it and guess what? It's someone going, hey man, you called about insurance? How's the website doing? Uh, when, when are you getting this done? When are you doing that? Are we picked swag yet? Have you ordered it yet? Is it in yet? Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good to be the king, right? It's going to be some ugly kids, man. That's true. So, sir, thank you very much for all your time, all your hard work. Take a bag. Some is the person who picked out the uh, uh, the uh, zippered mouse pads, the wear chairs. He picked out the, the bag, so he knew he was getting one before anyone else did. 
So he did all the hard work. Uh, honestly, picking the theme and finding out what we're going to give you guys is, is probably the hardest thing to do because you can't do the same thing over and over and over. You've got to find something new. You can't find a piece of crap. You have to entertain this guy who has one of everything now from every con he's ever been to. So that he's yeah. given the same speech. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Maybe if you change the speech up a little bit, they'll give you something different. <laughs> hey, give Molten another one of those bags, man. He didn't bring anything good this year. <laughs> so, um, where are my volunteers at? Who volunteered this year? Yeah, who volunteered? Now, who showed up and worked their shift? There we go. <laughs> Droop. Droops, you're away. No, no, no. It's not a DUI stop, Droops. It's a, I'm asking if you volunteered. One hand. You good? Eh, I love you too, man. So, to all of our volunteers, we appreciate all your hard work. Um, it's kind of interesting. We have to put people in places. We don't have enough staff in Nashville to really put our people there all weekend long. Some of us act, uh, like to actually enjoy part of the conference, so we uh, um, we trade you four hours of work, which is not really that hard. It's kind of like working in a college. Um, four hours of work, and we'll give you a T-shirt of your size. So if you haven't gotten your volunteer shirt yet, mud flaps up front here. Catch up to him. He'll get you your shirt. And I'd like to say thank you for all of your hard work. So uh, we didn't get to do the uh, the wear chair toss, so the hotel doesn't have to pick up a couple of hundred pieces of orange tape out of the parking lot. We haven't really trashed everything too bad, not that we really need to do so. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> the night is still young, I know. And I have all the insurance paperwork in my, uh, in my room just in case. But please, let's not use it. It's got a real high deductible. But anyway, um, we'd like to thank the hotel. This is how many years have we been here now? Six years here. Six years in the same hotel, because no one else will have us. But anyway, it's not anything to do with you guys at all, I swear, for having the cops come out or... Stuff throwing. descending from the heavens. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When you're standing looking at the satellite dish going, well, at least it's just a $75 chair and not the $3,000 dish that's hanging out. So on your way out make, uh, in the morning, if you remember where you're at in the morning, uh, thank the people at the front desk. They're very accommodating. They let us take over all the space in the hotel. Uh, when we got here Thursday, we had 45% occupancy of the hotel on a night before everyone showed up. So um, they pretty much let us have free reign of the entire place. Apparently, even though we uh, are IT people, we are cleaner and uh, more well-behaved than the Southern Baptist Convention. So, hey! <laughs> And the clowns, yeah. Who was here for the clowns? Yeah. When we got on the elevator, we were weirder than the clowns, okay? In the elevator. Do you work for Freaknik? Yeah, yeah. What do you think I sell, lady? Don't answer that. <laughs> what? That's it. Mundanes? Did you just refer to normal people as mundanes? I'm going to call people at the at work that. Hi, how you doing, Mr. Mundane? Boy, you're normal. None of our people would do anything like that, as far as I know, and for insurance. Yeah. Who was it? Who was it? it was in the elevator last year, and uh, <laughs> some girl was standing there. She turns around and looks at the guy in the elevator and goes, "You hacked my MySpace page." <laughs> Mirage programmed the Squid Proxy to replace the pictures on MySpace with people from the con. So they go to their MySpace page and boop, boop, he'd pop up, you'd pop up, and they're like, "The hell is going on? That's not Marsha." So, I have to say that of my mundane friends and my computer friends. My computer friends are definitely more interesting, more bizarre, and a hell of a lot more fun to be around. So, thanks, guys.
So we uh, we had the uh, first ten ball amp. You're fucking with me, right? Pretty much, ten ball sucks. So ten ball and Mike Lynn uh, had the tradition of doing the "Why You Suck" talk. And uh, Fres Mike, I'm sorry, I don't know who you're seeing lately, but I don't think I can get her up here to show her tits. Uh, <laughs> I didn't buy a bunch of alcohol in lieu of good photographs. Uh, didn't have anything really uh, uh, that fun. So uh, we had already kind of slotted that spot and got a hold of Tim Ball and said, hey, you coming to do the Why You Suck? And they said, i got to talk to Mike Lynn, which apparently that's harder than getting hold of Acidus. But anyway, so uh, because Mike Lynn couldn't make it out, I think he's out of country or something fun like that, uh, as is Decius, um, he said, Boop, nope, going to do it. Then I turn around last night, and he comes walking through the door. So, little fucking Asian. So yeah. we say, <laughs> so I, yeah, no, no, I'm just prejudiced against you. No, 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 you troll. You're just on slash ignore, man. Ooh. Amy walked in right before you said that. <laughs> oh, where's Amy at? Back corner. Back corner. Amy. Where'd she go? Hi. That was directed at this fool, not you, I swear. You're a beautiful, beautiful woman. Amy, we have cake. We do. We have cake. I, I, th I think she saw everything you were doing to uh, Sea Blind over here. Yeah. That's, Did you uh, see him earlier? We have it on video. There you go. So, uh, there we go. Thank you, Amy. And when you see the pictures of Tim Ball, you'll understand. So um, I uh, spent some time upstairs trying to compile some pictures. I spent uh, a bit of time on uh, a major university's dime the other day. Actually, uh, they paid a lot of cash to have Freaknik planned. So anyway, I found a lot of <laughs> Especially when they get a product that doesn't work. Again, another reason why I won't get a raise anytime soon. Nah. Do you think they're really going to? My boss, no one that works anywhere near me would actually like search for this and watch a video. I hope. No. Actually, the whole rattle thing, ninth floor, was still on the internet when I went to work for the major university, and I Googled myself one afternoon just for fun. Skydog freak Nick. Ah! <laughs> it's on my license plate. I have a placard on my desk. I'm thinking. I got to get that taken down sometime soon. So, yeah, luckily that did come off the web without a problem. Um, so I surfed the web the other day and started looking around. And um, I found some things that uh, fit into the category of why you suck. But I found a lot of pictures of uh, the, the people, our friends, that come to Freak Nick. And I thought, you know, I got a couple of things that I think suck. But on top of that, I got a lot of people I really appreciate and enjoy spending time around. So. We're going to have a little bit of why you suck, and then uh, then we're going to have uh, a look back at some of the previous freak nicks, uh, even if it may have been only last year. Um, I did uh, I did have a small problem this year. I scheduled Decius's drunken rant. Who's seen Decius do his drunken rant? Woo! Right. Yeah. The Decius drunken rant is a tradition. I can't remember what year it started. But apparently they gave him a bottle of beer. Freak Nick won? Did it start then? Well, no, he was drunk. Yeah, well, <laughs> when did we give him a mic and make it official? When did we give him a mic and make it official? Freak Nick 2? Well, yeah, it's a tradition now. So uh, I, I have found that, that Billy Hoffman. Do what? I, I took Sky Dog owns you. Kelly, are you in the room? Anyway, yeah, she would like those pictures to go away. But anyway, um, so uh, I found that getting a hold of, of uh, Decius is about like trying to get the talk description that he's going to do from Acidus or getting a hold of Mike Lynn. It's damn near impossible. So when I finally did get a hold of him, I said, hey, man, are you going to do the drunken rant? Because, you know, it's set up on the schedule. I want to make sure you're going to be here. Need time? You want to move it around? And he said, uh, dude, I'm going to be in Norway. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that like Utah? Norway, Utah? And he's like, no, 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 man, I'm in Utah. No, I'm in Norway. 
So uh, leashing or unleashing Decius on Norway has got to be completely interesting. I'd love to be there with him, but since he can't be here, I ask him to send us a video. What's up? This is Tom. Skydog wanted me to send in a video because I can't be at Freaknik this year. I am in Europe on a business trip. Right now, I'm in Oslo in Norway, the land of Vikings and death metal, sometimes simultaneously. <laughs> Some of you may have heard that uh, uh, Meme Streams got a DMCA takedown notice a couple months ago. Uh, there were a couple guys who were, uh, well, so Texas Instrument Calculators have a digital signature that they use to validate uh, that operating systems were signed by TI. Uh, and uh, there were these guys out on the internet that were trying to crack the, the private key for this, for this uh, key pair so they could sign their operating systems and run them on the calculators. And I thought it was kind of interesting because it's the first time I'm, I've ever heard of uh, a distributed cracking effort on the internet that is going after like a real key and not one of those RSA challenges. So I blogged about it and I got an a, a email from Texas Instruments telling me to take my blog post down. Uh, the EFF got involved, and uh, you know, on my behalf and on behalf of a number of other uh, people who got similar DMCA takedowns from uh, from TI, and they sent TI a, a letter and said, you know, look, what I was doing was was pure speech, and even the people who were posting the keys on their website, they have a right to do that because the DMCA has a specific carve out for reverse engineering for the purpose of interoperability, and all these guys are trying to do is get their custom OS to run on the calculator, uh, so they're trying to interoperate. And, uh, you know, we gave TI two weeks to, uh, you know, respond, and they, they didn't respond. And so on Monday, uh, I put my blog post back up, as did a number of other people. And uh, uh, we still haven't heard from TI, so, uh, you know, Mark went up for uh, freedom of speech and freedom to reverse engineer. Uh, have fun at Freaknik, and, uh, Sorry, I can't be there this year. Right. So, when you get a chance, hit meme streams. Let Tom know you support him and everything he's going through. He's definitely working hard to uh, support free speech. If he was here, it'd be 45 minutes longer and much more slurred. So, anyway, all right. Let's see what I got. Yeah, this is, uh, let's see. So I sat down and I tried to, to categorize some things. What sucked, what was cool. Had a little fun with it. Uh, so when you put an event on like this, you have to be very careful. You have a, a security <coughs> courtesy staff who watches out for everybody. Occasionally you have someone who gets on the roof of the building and has a little bit of fun. This sucks because, uh, not only is it someone on the roof with uh, something flammable, it's now a picture on the internet that the insurance company can look at. Thank you very much. We have the, uh, I thought this was fun, Hack 5 and Freaknik 2008. How did Russell Butterini get to, uh, TCS Tool get to do an uh, interview on Hack.5? 
We have, uh, this is my favorite in Nashville, Pony New. Dude, you're playing WOW and you're driving a Lexus uh, 3, or what, SE 430. Damn, Obama's bigger. Can anyone see that one? Who knows who that is? Dolomite. Can I have a round of applause? Yeah. Dolomite's in Chattanooga this weekend, which sucks. Johnny X, stand up. Stand up. Because I asked you to nicely. Please. Who knows who this gentleman is? Yeah. Round of applause. Johnny X started Freaknik. From humble beginnings, scamming copies from Kinko's to give you programs. <laughs> no. Hey, they deserved every moment of that one. Yes, yes. I have never been able to get Kinko's to donate shit to this conference. I don't know how you did it, Johnny. Pretty much. I think they didn't need to find out. erase that actually it just you know, so uh, actually I remember stopping my Kinko's and uh, making some copies one day I need to make some copies here I have a card no so Johnny X started Freaknik I think it was five was it five that Dolomite or is it six it took over he took over fully at six I think he worked yeah I, I I don't know what you're talking about or how that would happen at all and swear so they <laughs> Yeah, I get a discount on Happy Pills. So, um, so Dolomite can't be here because he's out of pocket. Um, I took over two years ago. I was vice president three years ago, uh, and I've really enjoyed it ever since. Dolomite actually put the um, 501c3 nonprofit in place. To my knowledge, we are the only 2,600 group in the U.S. that is also a charitable nonprofit. So, all right. So Dolomite uh, did all the arrangements for that, put a lot of organization in place. He was the, he's the reason we have directors and the things that have been put in place so far. So I wish he could have come out here and gotten drunk because uh, I would have had tossed up his leg. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> it's a guy. It is a guy. I remember this is Freak Nick 5, I think. But all I got to say is kumbaya. <laughs> this, is in, this is actually, uh, what was the hotel on Broadway? Is that six that we're in a hotel? Yeah, yeah, this is, this, this is the hotel we got thrown out of and banned from the first year we were there. This is, all right, thanks, guys. There you go. These guys don't want us to leave because they're afraid they're going to have to tear the hotel down. Now, I did hear they're actually going to start renovating the hotel, oddly enough, after we're done. But they're going to start renovating two floors at a time. So uh, next year, it'll still look like a shitty hotel. Um, let's see. Shadow 404. I'm sorry, but you suck. You can tell him I said that. Here we go. This is, uh, this is someone who really sucks. This is our old school wiring system. Duct tape, CAD5 on the carpet. Uh, this was days in, I think, at the airport. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, let's see, where, here we go. This, this is the old school days in wiring system. Now the fun part about that, let's see, you can see the purple wiring. That is actually plenum rated cable <laughs> that I happened to snag from the place where I work. So there is thousands and thousands of dollars of cable hanging on the outside of a hotel outside of uh, the airport, the day's end. So these are the only pictures I actually found of it. If you can see, the, the brown section on the bottom was where the balconies used to be. 
That's a sliding glass door on the second floor. So we figured out how to open up the doors, baby. I, all I know is there was one screw. You take it out, you slide the door over, and then you start throwing cable out. And I know that one, either Tom Cusar or myself had to lean out and throw the one run from one side of the hotel roof over to the other side to hook everything up. Hell, if I'd known that, I'd have passed him on the hands with a baton. <laughs> we love him. I have no idea. He usually shows up and causes trouble by now. Good grief. Um, hey, aesthetics, where you at? You good? Because I don't know if I'd want that picture ever making it to the Internet. You suck. That's absolutely. Cause, is that good technique? Filming, is that good technique? Do what? You got to cup the balls, huh? <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> Overdose. Woo! You suck for exposing everyone at the con to your nipples to get 80 to sign your gut. Come on, man. Here we go. Yes. All right, he had enough guts to do it. He also has enough guts to drink Mount Gay Rum. Yes, give him a hand. Hey, Katonic, you suck. Anyway, I love Katonic. I think he dresses like that all the time, actually. Here we go. Hey, Droops, thank you for the penises on the back of my vehicle. They loved it on the interstate. Yeah, that's it. It's, I'm gonna leave it like that. And go to work accidentally on Monday. Excuse me, uh, Trevor. Can you come to my office and bring the contents of your desk? <laughs> yeah, actually, we need to find that after we're done. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> one of the uh, asshole. <laughs> Damn IT people, such a pain in the ass. So. Do what? I'm a drug dealer. I'm a plumber. What can you say? Put up with everyone's shit all the time. So, um, who writes code for web pages? Call K2 Awards and tell them it would really be nice if you could edit what was there because the third one in when I was doing it, I typed Freaknik 13 and accidentally hit the enter key. And the only way to go back and change it was to cancel the order and retype everything else. There's no way to go back. So who wants a Freaknik 13 tag? I can't use for a damn thing. There you go, smart ass. I hand it back to him. They suck. Call K2 Awards and tell them you want to redesign their website because it's fucking terrible. Let's see. What do we got? Wait. No, I haven't. You're not next. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yes, you are. <laughs> the only person around here I know that will take a shot like that is sitting right there in the yellow shirt, buddy. He's taking more than one shot. What can I say? That's great. Johnny, will you take one for the team? No random liquid. Sorry. Plus, you'll end up with herpes after, after Scott always been drinking out of it. Her, her, <laughs> that was a lying little son of a bitch. I do not want to end up with herpes on a syphilis and end up with tissue samples at TIE Fighter's office. No, not going to happen. That's very sweet of you, but keep that one to yourself. Sorry, guys. So uh, I have a good one here. <clears throat> I have a standing rule, you never touch my laptop. This is James touching my laptop while I snoozed last year. So become, nope, but the, 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 get your hands off. Because he sucks, here it is where he got owned this year on the wall of sheep.
Yes. I was nice enough to blur out his email address and his password, which went by in clear text. Thank you. Thank you. What? That was on the new laptop, not the old one. <laughs> I was so testing James, the system. You suck, son. And honestly, why, what you suck presentation would not be complete without a skinny white boy naked in a pool. <laughs> That's it. I would use that as an excuse also, yeah. So surfing the web, I, uh, I found some, actually I found it on Tim Ball's website, which I think you ought to really chat with him, because it's actually publicly accessible, it's not from anyone's private collection. The inner zone pictures? Boy, that's a, that's, why don't you call something, say something bad about my mother now? No, just kidding, just kidding. Dale, Dale. So uh, I put together a little, uh, this is the category of thoughts. Hmm. Uh, what? Boobies. <laughs> Boobies. So anyway, this one time when I had a vasectomy, they went in. <laughs> Who's not heard Deco's vasectomy story? You're serious. You haven't heard the, okay, I'm going to call him up. He has to tell you the vasectomy. Haven't heard his vasectomy story. It typically, if you go to the, anywhere where you're going to go to a restaurant and uh, get, a, get a bite to eat, you're standing in line, you're waiting, somehow or another, decode will bring it around to the vasectomy story. I have heard it three times in the parking lot of a restaurant where he began with, so, I got a vasectomy this time. <laughs> At 10? There you go. Absolutely. Uh, no, no, it's kind of scary. So I had the cool category. Who knows what this is? Yeah! Hey, Don, where you at, man? Where's Don at? <laughs> is that Don? Hey, Don. This is Don playing. Don likes to play with toys. Don also likes to play with large amounts of electricity. That's it. So this is what everybody missed. This is Don's toy. Now, just for reference, it is a very loud device. It's a, a, what is it, an APU that came out of a tank or something similar. It's extremely loud, but I just shit myself right there because it flashed over while I have a piece of metal rod in the jet stream while it explodes. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. So, a couple years ago, we fired it up in the uh, parking lot in the evening, and we roasted a few marshmallows with it. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the creator actually had to play around a little bit and roast a marshmallow. It took a bit of work to find the right angle to hold it at uh, because it's scalding hot there. Ah, oh, fuck it, just eat it. <laughs> he said it tasted like kerosene. So, so if you can imagine, we are delaminating marshmallows. I don't know how hot this thing gets, but it's blowing marshmallows across the parking lot. It's hitting cars. It's like napalm, apparently, because the guy that you see in the corner 
actually got hit with roasted marshmallow guts. So, three. <laughs> Not including Tim Ball's mom. Oh. oh, this is true. This is true. So anyway, that I, I thought those were an absolute blast. So uh, I went through. I found uh, a lot of our personalities. I thought it would be uh, fun to get a few looks. There's Al and Droops. And Droops, we got to talk to you about that picture, baby. Al can't be here. He's actually the what? The one right after that? Which one is the one after that? Oh, I know which one you're talking about. So, Al, um, <laughs> you know, don't you? Yes. Al is, um, Al is a character, and uh, unfortunately, Al is out of the country. Apparently, I picked a real shitty weekend for people to be in town. Uh, I, does anybody know exactly where he's at? He's in Sweden. <laughs> no, he's not in Norway. That's the other asshole who didn't respond to me. Could be. Could be, actually. <laughs> so Al normally comes out. Uh, Al likes to hold court, and uh, uh, he is an absolute hoot. Ooh! So uh, Al is uh, responsible for the Tigger porn that has apparently shown up in, uh, there we go, in Tripp's talk about uh, laptop security search and seizure. It was a very intimate moment, but it was a fleeting moment because Al couldn't take Tigger home with him. So we got him the home version. <laughs> and you didn't think that Toys R Us had adult toys. Do what? That's it I have no idea. I don't want to find out. So uh, Al is known to dress a little flamboyantly, defying gravity with hair, possibly other things we don't know. Uh, he's been known to hump or be humped on a regular basis. I don't know if that's terror or ecstasy, and maybe I don't want to know. Someone's therapist does know, I believe. And there he is. We're sad that Al couldn't make it, so hopefully he'll get to see the video. Everyone, can we tell Al we miss him? We miss you, Al. And we have a replacement. He's right here. We have, here's Tim Ball. This is one of those long, long ago pictures. He was still short. Wait a minute. He's standing on a chair, on a milk crate, on a telephone book to take that picture. We had a few. Here's Tim Ball. He's, I didn't know that he, he, he could get his eyes that closed and still operate. I don't, I think he may have been drinking. I'm not really sure. It's a possibility. Yeah. Old pictures of Mav and Tim, and here's Tim Ball. I don't know where he got that. And we have Tim Ball's mom, <laughs> a long-standing joke about Tim Ball's mom. We have the no. There's no alcohol in that. I don't want it from Mike Lynn. We have the yes. I was a young hacker. And now we have the, I have a business suit. <laughs> so here's actually, this is kind of scary. Uh, I stole these from Tim's website. It was kind of public accessible. We have Mike, we have Tom. Here's Billy, all dressed up and respectable. So next time you see Billy, you've actually seen him in something other than a t-shirt. Let's see. Yeah, here were the other pictures I thought were really good. In the back of a limousine, if you've ever seen him. There we go, he's in a wine tasting apparently. We, uh, the pictures are backwards. No, actually, I, I didn't put the other ones up. It was kind of scary. We have Ware. Ware with the, was it the Vulcan? Or which one did he have last year? This is when he was standing up. Where'd he go? Nowhere. And that, we showed Ware how much we actually loved him. <laughs> he, I think it was he, we had the pressure washer and he wrote Ware. And then we followed it up with sucks and the traditional penis and things of that nature. <laughs> well, okay. I'm not an art major, damn it. Let's see. Where's Modnock? Hey, we got Modnock. This is actually at the uh, uh, Freaknik 5 or 6, whichever one was the other hotel. Uh, which one? The, the one in Vermont or whatever. You said it was 6? 
No, no, no. The one that was the one we got thrown out of. That was six. Yeah. Let's see, who was it? I can't remember. Oh, there he is. My knock on the right hand corner. Still looks the same. A little bit more hair back then. We had Woofus. Uh, he didn't make it out this year. Neither did Maverick. Uh, they were definitely old school. Was Woofus around for two and one? For Freaknik two and Freaknik one? Oh. <laughs> Maverick is the reason we had uh, uh, cable connections, I think, at the Drury Inn. I think he stole, a, I mean, he appropriated a few. You open up a door and you walk inside and there's a bank of cable modems lined up on someone's dresser in their hotel room. And you're like, is that legal? Never mind. I wasn't asking. I didn't ask that question. I started at two. I've been to every Freaknik since two. Except this one. Who else has been to all the Freaknicks? Anyone else? Who's got the record? Who, who came to this one? Yeah. Now we're going to see who's drunk. All right, this is 13. Who came to 12? 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, Freaknik three, Freaknik two, and Freaknik one. Shut up. <laughs> him out. All right. Excellent, guys. Yes, Rattle got married. He's he can never come. Really? That's. Is he a, is he a mundane now? <laughs> That's the wrong one to send somebody to. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want him to come anyway. Oh. No. Yeah, someone actually married Shadow. Shadow 404. No, I think actually Rattle would probably talk her into submission. Yeah, yeah. I really think you ought to marry me. You ought to marry me. Ooh, that's so, so bad. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that's it. Absolutely. Uh, this was actually the IRC dating that we tried to do one year. Uh, that is uh, not Larry when he had hair. Here we have Mike Lynn. This is, uh, I think we had the Freaknik glasses. Things you don't give hackers. You don't give hackers uh, pint glasses. You don't give them beer. You don't give them a whistle. I found that out at Outer Zone a couple of years. Here, it's a whistle. It's got the name on the end of it. Yeah, that, that, that almost got me thrown out of the hotel. Uh, let's see. Who remembers Sean? Rim Boy? I think, uh, yeah, I saw him not long ago. We have Laughing Boy, Dementia, way back in the day. It's Howard. Wait, is Howard still here? Howard's the end lug guy. This is a, it's the end lug table at night. <laughs> He's trying to get it to work, isn't he? Oh, let's see. Here, this was uh, back when everyone actually carried CRTs and tower boxes to the con. I showed you the pictures. You can see the uh, cable going over the roof of the building. Hey, it's Sayod when he had blue. Well, never mind. He still got blue hair, doesn't he? Is he respectable now? This is this is Warren, uh, uh, <laughs> not Larry. I don't think that. Uh, you can buy them without knees, but apparently he liked wearing them that way. And I was looking at it. He's reaching into his pocket. I think it's for Trident gum or something similar. This is, uh, I think, when we're doing the dating thing. Anyone recognize this character? Stephen Critchfield, absolutely. When he had a big beard. Never mind. So um, who remembers Cusar? Remember Cusar? Cusar, do what? Where is he? I actually haven't seen him in a few years. He went through... Um, anger therapy training. <laughs> he went to work for a company somewhere. Uh, it was like in Arkansas. 
and he literally got barred from every bar in town. <laughs> which, which one was that? Oh, I've got the I've got the add into that one. Go. Yeah, that uh I think that that year I was uh my security position was to stand between Cusar and whoever he was pissed off at <laughs> like this going run run he, too, he would carry two beers, one in each hand, and he would finish one and then pull another one out of his pocket, and he would carry two wherever he went. Do you remember, didn't they call you the Air Force Security Is it, it, you know, do you know, I actually confirmed, they still talk about that event to this day. The, no, the police department in Nashville. <laughs> so, real, real quick story. Um, Johnny it puts on the con. And back in the day, everyone was a big, bad hacker. No, we didn't give a shit. But there were some kids that showed up. And what? Like from Ohio, I think, right? Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> they showed up, um, and, and I can't remember which year this was, but uh, is that what it was? So we're in the hotel lobby, and I'm standing next to Q's. Our Emmanuel Goldstein was like 10 feet away. He had shown up, 2600 Magazine Editor. Yeah, Freedom Downtime. So he'd come to, to uh, show the movie and everything. We are, um, we're standing in the lobby, and um, four kids come through the lobby wearing black on black, you know, not like T-shirt and jeans, but literally, you know, sweaters and all bundled up with, like, toboggan, you know, baklavas covered up, eye holes, come strolling through the lobby. And I'm thinking, fuck, i got to stop Cusar. And I'm already going, don't kill him, don't kill him. And these four kids come wandering through. And they come up to the, to, uh, the table, the registration table at the time. Hey, where's everybody at? And Cusar goes, okay, you're not getting in like that. And it's like, oh, shit, here he goes. And he said, you got to take the masks off. And the kids are like, no, we don't want anybody to know who we are. You know, they're going to be mysterious hackers. And that's like saying, your mother sucks, Cusar. So <laughs> he sets the other beer down. And I'm like, oh, this is going to suck. So he proceeds to explain to them in very graphic detail, there's no fucking way you're coming into this con. I'm not going to let you. So they do a 180. They take out across the lobby, and they make a left. And at the time, we took over an entire building at the Dr or what was it, Days Inn at the airport, right? We put smoke machines in. We had lasers shooting down the hallway. We went into the, the breaker closet and turned every light out in the hallway. We did everything we ever wanted to do. So this, uh, actually, uh, they tore this one down. But uh, if you were to drive by Umbrali, it used to be there. So they take off towards the back building. And I feel cues are brushed past me. Ah, hell, here we go. So he goes to follow him out. And I think, well, I'm going to have to keep him from killing someone, so I go. We go out the doors. We make a left. And I turn around, and there's an entourage of about 30 people that are following behind us just wanting to see what's going to happen. <laughs> So I turn back around, and about that time, these four kids turn around, and they see a, an entourage of 32 people. 
and right behind them is this really big guy who's pissed off, and he's very intent on hurting somebody that weekend. So they make a beeline across the courtyard, and Maverick shows up with his camera, and he likes to instigate trouble occasionally. So they get in their vehicle, and we're chiding them, we're having a little fun, they take off down the road and pull into the front parking lot. So Cusar looks at me and goes, let's go. So we go trotting up to the front. So I'm standing there, and as I'm watching him crack his knuckles, getting ready to bust a window out and tear somebody out, a police vehicle comes flying into the parking lot and misses me by half an inch. I have a bottle of Seagram 7 in one hand, a shot glass in the other. <laughs> Tom is, is like pulled the next beer out of his pocket and cracked it open, and I'm thinking, I have my 13-year-old stepson with me. Maybe this isn't going to be a good experience. So I kind of get rid of him. I take him back to the party, and I, you know, you guys watch him. I'll be right back. I show up, and I think, how many was it? Do you remember 13? There were 13 police vehicles in the parking lot. There was a ring of police officers around these four kids who now had their toboggans off. They had taken, <laughs> and for some reason, they were being very forthcoming with information. Every cop had his hand on his pistol with the clip undone. I walk over, and Cusar is talking to a cop with a beer in his hand. Hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> so uh, basically, we asked the police officers, you know, you know, just get them to leave. We don't want them to be here. By the way, can you come back by a little bit later with your police vehicle so we can have some pictures around it and everything? Uh, short story of that one is don't ever put your uh, stepson in a police vehicle, take a picture, and then show it to your now ex-wife. <laughs> but it was cool at the time. Flash forward like six years. I go to eat dinner or something with my uncle, and we're chatting, and I run into Mike Mitchell, who is a lieutenant with the National Metro Police Squad. And I'm joking around with him, and I said, hey, do you ever, like years ago, had a thing where like a bunch of police cars showed up to the uh, days in at the airport? And he said, yeah. <laughs> Why? And I said, oh, well, yeah. I was there when they, you know, all came in. He said, that was you? To which I said, maybe. <laughs> and apparently, that is now part of folklore because they shut down Birmingham National Airport and drove police vehicles across the runways to get them to the hotel because there was a terrorist attack in the hotel. <laughs> To this day, they talk about it. Yeah. They showed up later that night. Remember the complaint from the airport? Which one was the one from the airport? I think it was drunk by that point. Absolutely. I'll bet, I'll bet, if someone were to get us a few drinks on the ninth floor, we could tell some interesting, interesting fucking stories. What do you think? So, it's late. There's alcohol to be drunk. There's a lot of cake left up here that has to be eaten. Get to work. Sit down. And when you get done, go to the back of the room, asshole. So... Oh, my God.
I really wish Al could tell the uh, the highway patrolman lube in my uh, glove compartment registration wet story for everybody because <laughs> it's 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 priceless. It's I do what? Do it for Al or hear it for Al? I'm not doing it for Al. Hopefully Al will be next back. If Al will come back next year, uh, you can ask him about that story. I heard it while I was at ShmooCon, and uh, I coughed up a lung laughing so hard. It was absolutely wonderful. So it's late. I've had a blast. Uh, I intend to drink and shake hands with every one of you that I can. Some of you I'm probably going to hug, except for this silly fucker over here. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm afraid it's against you. You. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Yes. You're a focus group, <laughs> you. So, uh, if you'll, if you hit the website, um, the uh, the web address I, or the email address I said that was freaknick13 at gmail .com. If you have comments, uh, keep them for your damn self. No, it, seriously. If you have anything, you come up with a really good idea, you want to offer criticism, uh, you want to say thanks, that'd be great too. Uh, send me an email. Uh, we like to sit down afterwards and kind of talk about what went on, what we can change, what we can improve, what we can do to make it a, a, a fun time for everyone to come out. Three foot porn. Three foot porn. I uh, I've made some notes. I have to go back to my room right now and read through the insurance policy <laughs> to see if it does cover a few of the things you've mentioned. But. Um, I've really enjoyed the weekend. Uh, we work hard to get to this point every year, and uh, we don't get paid for it. Uh, basically, all we get in return is the smiles and the handshakes of everyone who shows up, and just, just getting to spend time with you. So, yeah, there you go. Signing some checks occasionally, uh, and enjoy that definitely. So, uh, thank you very, very much for coming out, for spending the weekend with us, and enjoying it. I love you all. Now get the hell out of here and go party. And take the alcohol with you.